We're covering for you today for the sixth month in a row, the downtown homeless population hit another record high. And nearly 2,000 people are living on the streets in downtown San Diego. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from Father Joe's with the frustration she's hearing from people. Kelly. Yeah, you know, that's right. We were out here doing a story about homeless individuals who were getting uh, care for their pets, and more than one person came up to me and said that they were frustrated about hearing these uh, cuts to the hours here at Father Joe's Day Center. So that means uh, fewer uh, laundry facilities to use. Uh, that means, you know, fewer time to use the restroom and to take a shower. So they were pretty frustrated. We talked to uh, homeless advocate Michael McConnell, who says in the 14 years he's been working with the unsheltered population, the situation is the worst he's ever seen. We're seeing people in, in areas that they were never at before just simply because there's nowhere to stay downtown. I mean, there's almost 2,000 people sleeping on the sidewalks downtown. So people are trying to find different areas where they feel safer or where they're closer to where they, they were housed. And so it's a lot of different situations going on. And he says he's seeing more and more families living in their cars, trying to get on the wait list for safe parking lots. He describes this as a perfect storm. The pandemic, then inflation, and a tough housing market. Rents are sky high, food is expensive, electricity bills are out of control. Even people who have jobs are ending up on the streets because the cost of everything is just too much and something's got to give. So today, the Helen Woodward Animal Center held its annual Pets Without Walls event uh, here at Father Joe's, and the line was down the block. Uh, they tell me every year they do this, they see more and more people out here. Now, they provided sweaters and blankets for pets uh, whose owners are homeless or low income. They also provided vaccinations and medical care for the animals. We talked to a lot of people who were just so grateful even for this little bit of help. You know, they're passionate about keeping their pets. They look at them as their family members. I met a woman named Lori. Uh, she had her little dog named Lily with her, and she was in line to get her a sweater for the cold. She didn't want to give me her last name. She didn't want to talk about what circumstances led her to where she is today, but she told me this. It's hard. You have to find a place to take a shower, eat, sleep. It's hard. And she got emotional when I was talking to her. You know, she says she's just trying to look out for herself. She's trying to look out for her dog. She says at night it gets so cold that she zips her dog up in her jacket just to keep her warm. Uh, as far as that uh, homeless count, the number of homeless individuals living on the streets of uh, the county, that point in time count, we're told the uh, final results won't be available for a few months. Heather and Carlo. Yeah, hard to hear some of those numbers and, of course, the stories of the individuals impacted. Kelly, did McConnell mention any other trends that he's noticed with the folks who are living on the streets in downtown San Diego? Yeah, and we talked about that. He said one of the things he's noticed is that it used to be that if you were homeless, maybe it was for a short period of time because you lost your job, then you got another job and you got back into housing. But he said that short period of time has been stretched longer and longer. So people are ending up being homeless longer because everything is just so expensive that it's a lot harder uh, to get back on their feet. Yeah, Kelly, homelessness, it's not a problem. It's the result of many problems and vulnerabilities. And, and unfortunately, we're seeing the end result on our streets right now. Right now, Kelly Hestall reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.